Smith. Heather. Heather? Yes. You're 18. What's up? Well, like, on... Well, I don't know how to explain it. A few weeks ago, me and my boyfriend just broke up, and we had this big bra-type thing out in my front yard, and I called the police on because she was hitting on me in front of my daughter. So mm-hmm. I threw him in jail for that. And then... Hold on. I'm going out on a limb here. Chew? Did you? Chew? Yeah, this is... Yeah. No oh, way. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah. She's calling from Oklahoma. <laughs> she's all abused. They're out on the lawn. The boyfriend's paroled. I was hitting on her. Called the cops. Juden. Guess his name. Uh, I'm going to say his name is uh, either uh, Moisha or Israel. Uh, Heather? Yes. Are you Jew? No. Oh, wow. First time I've been wrong, right? Do you know any Jews? Yeah, I know two of them. Yeah, <laughs> Jeff Goldblum and uh, Alan Greenspan. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Keep going, baby doll. So he's in jail. So he's beating the on right you. Right thing you, to do. You Good call job. the cops. Yeah. Well yeah. done. And then, like, after he got out of jail, he called me and wanted to know if I'd charge on him. I told him Dropped I'd the try. Charges, and... right? So I called the DA and tried to drop the charges on him. I guess he didn't see that I was trying, and him and his brother got really mad at me. Came over here, and I didn't see his brother behind the door, and he's knocking at my door. His brother was. And, you know, I answered it, because, you know, a trusting person shouldn't be. And mm. he starts running through my house trying to find my daughter I'm like what are you doing and behind me comes his other brother second he held me down and then like they run out the door with my child and I'm, mm-hmm. I ran I ran out the door you know trying to chase the car down and then I get on the phone with the sheriff and I guess they seen that I was on the phone with the sheriff so they took oh, hold on hold on how did they uh, seen you were on the phone no, with no, the, the sheriff the, 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 uh... there was three people in the car and the, 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 they drove off they saw her on the phone calling emergency or something well, that's yeah. what I was saying. Yeah. How did they? You chased their car down the street, and then no, I they seen you on the phone park, with the so sheriff. They what? I live in a trailer park, so it's kind of a long. No, highway. no, wait a minute, wait a minute, hold on. A second. Jews don't live in trailer parks. First off, sweetie. <laughs> oh no, wait. She said she wasn't Jewish. Yeah, Marcia, right. no. I'm really confused. All right, so I'm you're in a trailer park. All right, Heather. Here's the deal. They yeah. saw you do. They saw you pick up the phone. What is the question? And then what? What's the question though? Well, well, I want to know. I, I'm interested now. They saw you pick up the phone, assumed you're calling the sheriff. Yeah, so they took her to the sheriff's department, and they told welfare, or they told the sheriff and what they told welfare, and they told uh-huh. welfare that I was on drugs, and, and I lived in a pig pen, and, you know, I was always mm-hmm. strung out. Right. So, Are you? Do you do drugs? No. I, I cleaned up about a couple of weeks ago. <laughs> so you're, you're, all right, so your assessment of the situation is, is they tried to kidnap your child, but, but once they saw you pick up the phone, they took the kid to the sheriff's department. Yeah. Yeah. That doesn't make that sense. That doesn't really either. make sense because uh, they're going to assume you're going to call the sheriff. As soon as the child's As soon gone. as the co- child's abducted and you've ordered a pizza, the next call is going to the sheriff's office. Yeah. Your story is not not. It's not holding together. together. I mean, uh, they may be stupid, but uh, this would be retarded. Of course, you're going to pick up the phone and call the sheriff as soon as the kids have died. So the point is, your perception is that they kidnapped the child, and theirs is they were trying to get the child to safety. Yeah, and, and, or or some sort of retribution or payback for whatever she did to right. him in You're terms trying, of pressing trying to, charges. Trying to blow your cover on your drug drug use, which is again not a bad thing to do mm. if you indeed were strung out, which you were until it two could weeks be ago. Trying to pay her back. No, I know, but but it, even though in a retarded way, not a bad thing given the, con- the okay. circumstances. So then, what happened, Heather? Well, the sheriff came out to my house and said that they had Haley, and you know I was gonna. They told me to come pick her up, so I went up there to pick her up and. But all three of them were sitting there in handcuffs in the sheriff's department. I was like, okay, I'm here to pick up my daughter. And they asked me who I was, and I told them I was their mother. Mm-hmm. And they were like, hang out for a minute. We'll be out there to talk to you for a second. And welfare woman came out there and told me what they had told them. Mm-hmm. So my daughter had to stay in a foster home for about, I don't know, they took her on the 9th, and I got her back on the 13th. All right. So she, but, yeah, all she right. told me that. How old is your daughter? She's 18 months old. 18 months. 18 months. My dad would have taken me to Pepion by now, Uh, by the way. You would have been Uh, French Guiana. I should have been taken away. Oh, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, she would have taken you to French Guiana. (laughs) Heather. Uh, Okay, where uh, where is the biological father of your child? He's one of the um, brothers that took her. 
He was my ex-boyfriend. He's the one who you got put in jail? Yes. All right, okay. so your boyfriend is her father. My ex-boyfriend. Oh, yeah. Your ex-boyfriend, but up until uh, a couple days what, back. Do you have was. a boyfriend now? No, I don't. No, okay. Thankfully. And so he was kidnapping his daughter or whatever. Uh, yeah. So now where are we at? Is he in the joint? Excuse me? Is he going to jail? Um, I don't know. He called me a few days ago, and mm -hmm. he asked me to drop the charges on him. And mm -hmm. I, I pondered on that for a little while because I don't know if I should or not because mm -hmm. if I okay. do... All right, all right. Listen, this is uh, this is this is, a this is where cha this is the word chaos personified. Yeah, and, and thank uh, my you know I just thank God that she has a daughter, so we can have another stripper and not a boy, so we can have another murderer. Murderer. So <laughs> that you know, at least I'm thankful for that. Uh, I'm sure she'll be cute and it'll be fine. So here's the thing: you need to a not crap out any more kids. Oh my God! Because no. Uh, no. this kid would be better off raised by a family of badgers. Than what you're putting her through, yes. and number number two, you need to you need to get away from the chaos. Stop the dance. Stop she the screaming matches. Stop head. the arguments. That's the problem. Stop the co calls to the cops. And by the way, it, is it, I really do believe that there's one percent of this society that uses the cops, that monopolizes the court system. I mean, it's like it's like there's one. There's like it's, there's it's really less. Though. No, no, it's real. One out of every hundred people, maybe maybe less. I'm afraid it's more. I'm well, afraid it's more. Let me if I start getting in certain ethnicities, the number the number does float around a little. But the point is, is it's one percent, Drew. All right. I don't, I don't, All right, if you say so. I'll, look, I'll, I, I don't know that it's, it's not. still a lot. It's millions, yes, it's millions of people. Yeah, yeah. They, they, there, there's you know, two hundred and eighty million people uh, on this uh, in this uh, country, and uh, what's twenty eight million, something like that. Twenty eight million is no, that it's what like that 2. is? Two point eight million. Two point eight million. Two point eight. Well, Drew, what's Where'd going on? Million? I, uh, that's 10%. Okay. 1% is 2.8. 2.8 million using... Drew, you don't have to write this down. The two people that dropped out of, of uh, college can uh, straighten you out on this. You, Go ahead. Smell, you, you sucked up too much uh, formaldehyde in the lab. Yeah, right in your brain. Probably. Here's here's my point. Uh, these people are using everything up, every resource. When you call the cops and uh, they can't come out to your house for three days be after someone breaks in, it's because they're back and forth to the same crappy, beat-up, uh, ramshackled house uh, every time. Heather, stop using up the cops. Stop the dance. Go ahead and press charges against this guy, and then that's it. You're out. You're done with him. You focus on raising your daughter. You focus on creating a stable environment for your daughter. I would. It's an, it's an okay thing to do, but I would make the case that rather than getting this guy, who seems to be very unstable and prone to retribution, on your tail again, just get the hell out of there. Forget this. Just get out of town. End this relationship. Get as far away as you possibly can. Where do your parents live? Huh. They live about five miles away from me, but my dad's a truck driver, so he's gone all the time. All right. All right, Heather, stop the chaos. Do you really? I mean, I, here's the whole thing. Uh, do you realize that you're white trash and, you're, and people are making fun of you and this is Jerry Springer stuff? Can you stop it? I've been trying. I've, okay. I know I'm white trash. I have no no problem admitting it, you know. Good. <laughs> you can admit it. Just and... just don't act like it. Don't, don't do not Act as if you are. And, and by the way, there's a fun part of white trash. There's a part where, you you know, you make your own uh, whiskey and you uh, hate other races and you play the banjo. <laughs> there's a fun part of white trash. Dumb. And then there's the ugly part. There's the physical violence. There's the sexual abuse. Just stick, on the, stick to the hee-haw side of it and stay away from the actual trappings. Yes? Perfect. All right. Take care of that daughter. No more chaos. Sarah, Sarah Silverman uh, in studio.